Hello everyone, today is a healthy snack day. Today I am going to share a recipe of a muesli bar or a granola bar or some people call that a protein bar. I tried the recipe at home and it came out amazingly delicious. And just trust me, it's super easy to make. It's a really healthy and good option for the lunchbox of your kids. Even if you are a working lady, you can take that with your lunch and if you're going shopping just place one in your bag and you're good to go so let's try this recipe so welcome to my kitchen um, what we need for muesli bars recipe homemade muesli bars recipe we need oats quick oats uh, like here in western countries there are endless options for the viewers of India and Pakistan I would suggest Quackers quick oats they are easily available so what I need is I have a small dessert serving bowl and I am going to take two full bowls of these oats oats are rich in fiber and they are a really good source of protein so that is why the muesli bars are really high rich fiber diet and then I need I actually uh, chopped that earlier um, that is walnuts and almonds uh, I chopped them coarsely not finely because I want small bits that come in your mouth that's really delicious so uh, it's about two tablespoon each like two tablespoon crushed almonds two tablespoon crushed walnuts so in they go and then after almonds and walnuts i am going to put in raisins about two tablespoons raisins raisins are rich in iron they are rich in fiber then i have two tablespoon pumpkin seeds again a good source of fatty acids, good source of fiber, magnesium, omega-3 and then we have chopped dates. I used regular dates. I chopped them in small pieces. That's it. So in they go as well and then I am using maple syrup for sweetness but if you don't have the maple syrup you always have a substitute as honey i don't recommend sugar because we are we are actually going for a healthy snack so we are not using sugar sugar so um i am using this maple syrup you can use honey um, because the sweetness is coming from the dates and from the raisins as well so we don't need that much amount of maple syrup so I am using two tablespoons of maple syrup. I guess that would be quite enough. These muesli bars are really good option for those who um, look for other snacking things which are unhealthy like chips and other fried things. And that is a really good option for the kids as my boy loves eating that. My husband loves eating this. Uh, then we need to add a cup of milk to bind all things together. So a cup of milk, I'm adding uh, step by step so that I can see which, like how much amount I want. So I guess I am going to put the whole cup. I have preheated, I have started my oven uh, about 20 minutes ago on 200 degree centigrade. So if you have the oven settings on centigrade, it's 200. If it's on Fahrenheit, you can always convert the rating. Um, they are coming together really well. I have this 8 by 8 inch pan and I am going to 
it's really up to you like if you want to add other dry fruits and other things that are good for your health like flaxseed or if you have peanuts if you have pistachios you can just add in whatever you like it's totally up to your taste and if you are making it for your kids and you want them to love it at once you can even add the chocolate chips i tried with the chocolate chips and it was really delicious as well so it's totally up to you if you are a sugar patient and you don't want to add any other added sweetener apart from the nuts uh, we added like raisins and dates then just don't add the maple syrup or honey so it's always up to you so what i am going to do is i am going to grease my pan and then i just like the cake better and then i am going to add the batter this is it to my pan and then i am going to that you guys can see just set it i preheated oven at 200 degree centigrade but now i am going to put the pan in so i am going to transfer the heat to 180 degree centigrade and i am going to leave this in oven for about 20 minutes after 20 minutes just check if the upper side turns a light gold color it's done so uh, after 20 minutes i checked and i thought to give 10 minutes more and this is the this is the shape that came out light golden color don't try to scoop it out immediately let it settle let it set for about 10 15 minutes let it cool down and then we are going to take it out cut them in the bars foil it up and then just a store in your jar Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.